But now, folks, we got a real treat for you. We got our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad. And folks, we now are going to have, you're gonna love this. Teddy's been on with us for, oh my God, it's years now. Uh, the Tiger 4X Report by our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad, okay? This is kicking off today, uh, bottom line. You know, if you haven't heard Teddy, uh, he's on Tommy's show every morning. Amazing guy, bottom line. Uh, been with the CBOE. He was down there for 20 years. Uh, you know, he, uh, let's see, he, he's graduated from DePaul University, degree in finance. What's not down, oh yeah, and he wrote a great book, the author of the High Probability Japanese Candlestick Patterns. But what's not on here, man, is a great hockey player, man. Teddy <laughs> Case, that. <laughs> What's going on? Why, why didn't you put that on there? Oh, well, college hockey is not exactly the biggest achievement in life. Well, <laughs> for us it is. For us it is. I so like. I feel bad for Tampa. I was actually rooting for them to get the three-peat. I really wanted to I see know, them do it. I know, man. You know, when I was just talking with Steve Rose, you know what's just amazing is that it goes through so many games, right? And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, just, you know, two to one, two to one, two to one. We know how this goes, man. Unreal. Right, right. So. Folks, the, talk. Well, first off, folks, this is how this works. Okay, the bottom line: Teddy's going to be coming out every Monday with the with the report. Um, you can get this report uh, at a discount right now for the month of July. And as you hit the subscribe button, you're going to put Teddy twenty five. That gets you twenty five percent off um, the report. Great report. Well, let's talk to Teddy right now about what is going to be in the report, Teddy. Okay, well, we're going to have the uh, major currency crosses highlighted every week. So that would be the euro, U.S. dollar, the pound, yen, the uh, Aussie, the New Zealand, and the Canada. So, And then we're also going to have the uh, dollar index, the 30-year, and also crude oil highlighted also because wow. they influence various uh, cur uh, forex currency pairs. This is just a great time, too, for folks to really understand currencies because of the fact that there's so much happening in the world. I mean, this is the first time that I've seen currencies, well, personally, to me, that almost before the euro was there. Do you know what I mean? I, I used to mm -hmm. do a lot of business in the UK years ago and I have to deal with the pound. And folks, you want to learn currencies because, cur <laughs> I mean, you know, currencies go up five or 10%. That is your wealth either going up or going down when you're in that, those countries, okay? So it's pretty intense, man. And Absolutely. you've given us such a great education as to um, how a currency and the interest rate affect all of us, right, every day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, if they impact all markets without a doubt. Every market's a function of some currency no matter what. Yeah, isn't that wild, man? That's And so when you were at the CBOE, were you, were you trading currencies or trading options? What were you trading? Uh, well, I started the CBOE when I was at the CME. That's when I started trading currencies. Okay. I was in the S&Ps for over 20 years. Okay. And uh, that's where I really started to learn currencies because I was trading bonds initially. Yep. And then I was starting to see the correlations between those markets and then see how they started to influence it. And one of the things I noticed, too, is that a lot of the older guys, they traded spreads, so they learned those correlations. And most of the, this, the, the individual pit traders or individual market traders, they never cared about those things. So it was a good way to actually not get caught with your pants down when you have a lot of really good moves and catch a lot of good trends that way, too. Now, what Teddy just explained, folks, is, remember this program's archived. I want you to go through what, go listen to that again. Because there's no doubt, Teddy, <laughs> What happens, folks, when you're around for a while, you try to go somewhere <laughs> where there's not a lot of um, pushing and pulling, right? And that's what you're saying, which is really cool. Now, I, mm -hmm. I'm with you there, man. I, at, at one point in my career, I, all I did is trade South African equities because no one liked them. <laughs> but right. there's plenty of you know, ETFs over here. And the bottom line, mm -hmm. of course, you know, South Africa's already trading. So pretty cool, man. And in, right. in the aspect, you know, you have one of the first guys, bottom line, when oil was at 35, saying, okay, 45, we're going to 100, right? I mean, yeah. you know. so Everyone's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> seriously, man. <laughs> seriously, the first day I heard that on the air, I said, okay, this is going to be a trip. Uh, so what are you thinking about the oil market now? Where, where are we at in that whole thing? Uh, well, we're in a nice little consolidation. <clears throat> I like the fact that it's a little higher today. I think it's going to be 
basically playing with resistance. I mean, there's there's no real reason to see why we would have any real slide in the oil market. Um, now, I would use caution with most people. Don't think that just because oil is even stabilizing right now, the gas prices are staying down. Right. Because that's a whole other issue. Right. You know? So oil and gasoline, especially now since we're no longer now, – now that we are actually importing gasoline because of our refining issues – if they pump it, don't worry about the price of oil. It's the price of gas you have to worry about. Well, but for crude oil still, I think it's going to be a bull, and I see it going to 150. I think no matter what, we're going to test the highs sometime before the end of July and into the beginning of August and probably make a run at 140 to 150 by the sometime in September. Yeah, because that last, so. last high on the continuous is 147. Mm-hmm. I know. There's no Especially doubt. Especially when rates go higher, too. If they continue to do three-quarter points for another one to two Fed meetings, the cost of carry out alone is going to help help drive the price of crude up. Interesting. Yeah, this is where you really get, you know, the real action. Well, folks, it's very easy to get his newsletter. You come over to our <laughs> website at TFNN. You're going to see it right on the front. The Tiger Forex Report by our man, Mr. Teddy K. Said. You hit subscribe. You fill that out. Don't forget to put in the Teddy 25. You have 25% right. discount, folks. And that discount is forever. Just so you know. Lock it's it like, in. Yeah, it's a, like a charter membership, folks. Teddy, this is so awesome, man. I, you know, thank you so much for, you know, you've been with us for a long time, man. You know, you're just so bright, man. And you know the market well, so thank well. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that working with you guys and putting this together. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good thing for everybody. Okay, man. We'll talk a bit. Thank you. Sounds good. Take Stay care. right there, folks. We'll come right back.